What's up guys, it's your boy Alan Wade, A-Dub Productions here with another episode of Beat the Street. We're out here on the corner of 52nd and Chestnut Street and we're out here because we have questions, guys, and we need answers. It's raining out here, but it doesn't matter what the weather is because we got questions, man, and you guys are going to get the answers today. And we're just going to look around to get our first questionnaire, our first person that we can ask questions to. It's raining out here. I'm kind of underneath this awning so that my equipment won't get wet, so uh, it's going to be kind of hard to find people right now, but we're going to find out the answers to these questions no matter what. All right, first of all, I'd like to thank you for agreeing to do this interview with me. Thank you so much. Hi. <laughs> You're welcome. And uh, what's your name? Dominique Black. Dominique? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dominique. So uh, what's your name, sir? Sha. Huzzah. What's your name, sir? Clayton. Clayton? Nice to meet you, Clayton. And uh, what do you do for a living, Clayton? Well, I'm a retired chef. Retired chef. Cook some good food here. Do you still do that? Yeah. On the okay, okay. Now, um, how do you feel about... Nike, how do you feel about minorities supporting Nike when they found out that they made Colin Kaepernick the face of their new campaign? Well, Nike's always been a worldwide brand, and um, so, and then some, even though even though they were slow doing it, I will support them. Mm -hmm. You know, plus their sneakers last longer than a lot of other stuff do. Okay. okay. You know, I mean, I, I can I can buy a pair of Nikes and wear them for half a year, as opposed to buying me buying Reebok or Adidas. Okay. They okay. tear up. Now. How do you feel about the way minorities reacted in support of Nike when they made Colin Kaepernick the head of their new marketing campaign? Well, in a way, I felt good about it. Mm -hmm. But in a way, I just feel like we should support each other more as a community. You know what I'm saying? Like people like me, up and coming artists, up and coming people, rappers, singers, small businesses that sell clothing, everything. Like, I just feel like we need to support us more than the people that's already successful. But I love, I can't pronounce his name. Colin Kaepernick. <laughs> yeah, there you go, yeah. Colin Kaepernick. <laughs> Shout out to Colin Kaepernick. Yes, I love him and I love what Nike's doing for him. But we as a community, like we need to spend our money within our community. Like. I agree with that 100% because Nike stocks did go up since they made that announcement, and that's crazy. I mean, it's all right. You think it's all right? Yeah. All right, now, but do you think that Nike really cares about injustices of minorities? I mean, no. No? I think they just care about getting their money. You think they just care about getting their money? These young guys are pretty smart right here. What about you guys? Do you guys think that Nike really cares about social injustices that are done on minorities? What do you guys think? Put your answers in the comment section down below. Do you think that Nike really cares about minorities and the social injustices that they go through on a daily basis? No, but who does? We do. I mean, we do, right. but I'm saying like other than... But what's like, crazy is we do, but do we really? Because we're supporting Nike and we're not even supporting each other. Isn't exactly, that crazy? Exactly, exactly. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like a win-lose situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course we want to support Nike. Of course we want to uh, support Colin. But what about us? You know what I'm saying? When it comes down to supporting your family and friends, it's always, well, why can't I get it for free? Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just supporting your family and friends right. why they, when they need you the most. Mm -hmm. Do you think that Nike really cares about the social injustices about minorities? I don't know. They care about their bottom line. It's like any ma any major business. Right. Think about the bottom line. Okay. Do you think minorities would react the same and support a small business if they found out that that small business um, also agreed with Colin Kaepernick's views? Half and half. Half and half? Half and half because people really like Colin uh, Kaepernick as a football player. They agree with his movement. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So half of the community will support but half of the community will find their face because they would rather support a high name like Nike than support a name they never heard of. Facts. All <laughs> facts. Very, very well spoken. Hello. First of all, I'd like to thank you for agreeing to do this interview with me. No problem. Thank you so much. And uh, what's your name? Kanisha. Kanisha. What's your name, little man? Kayan. Kanisha and Kayan. All right. So uh, what do you do for a living, Kanisha? Um, I work for Catholic Social Services. I go out to um, different uh 
WIC offices and try to, you know, help people with different services we can offer. Awesome, awesome. And um, do you think that, how do you feel about the way minorities have came out in support of Nike when they made Colin Kaepernick the head of their new marketing campaign? Um, I mean, it's a... Uh... I honestly don't feel no type of way. I mean, everyone has their entitled to their own opinion, their own decision. It's just the way that they do things. I mean, it could be better, mm -hmm. but, you know, people are entitled to do what they want, you know, with things. Okay, okay. Now, do you think that Nike really cares about the injustices that are done to minorities? Nah, I would say no. Okay. I would say no. So, so why do you think they did it? Um, I mean, everything is about money nowadays. I mean, they do things to, to build up their self, to do for themselves. So, mm -hmm. I mean... That's basically what it is, and it was about money makes the world go round. Right. You know? Now, do you think that minorities would um, give small businesses the same support that they're giving Nike if they found out the small business owners had the same views as Colin Kaepernick? Um, they probably wouldn't. I would say no. Mm -hmm. they, they, may, they may not. I, I don't think so. Say like that business owner right there. Say if it was a Spanish guy or if it was a black guy, and they came out in public and said, yeah, I support the same thing Colin Kaepernick supports. Do you think that uh, minorities would support that business the same way? No, not really. Why not? I don't know. Do you think it has anything to do with Nike being a big corporation that everybody loves? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. These guys are not being fooled. These guys are not being fooled at all. Do you think that people buying Nike shoes and paraphernalia is going to have any impact on the way we're treated and the way the social injustices that have happened to black people and other minorities? No, not at all. Do you think that people buying more Nike shoes and more Nike apparel has any impact on social injustices and the injustices that you might face or I might face just for being black or a minority? No. No, I don't think so. Not really. Do you think that minorities would give small businesses the same support that they're giving Nike if they found out those small businesses supported Colin Kaepernick's views on social injustices? Some. Some. Some of them? Yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Now, um, do you think that buying... Nike products, sneakers, and other paraphernalia really has any impact on social injustices? Not really, no. No. So then why are we doing it? Well, like I said, I buy because I can, I can get a year, I can get a right. six months worth out, out of wearing Nike. It's a good quality sneaker. Yeah. Even though I know it costs, it only costs them $8 to make a sneaker. Right. Even though I know, you know, all the injustices they're doing, doing the people making the sneaker and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Right. I, I, the quality of the product you, you can't you can't surpass. Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, man, I'd like to thank you for doing this interview with me, and I no appreciate problem. it. No all right, thanks a lot, man. What's your name? Jay Shine. It's crazy to me. I really ain't put my input into it too much, you know what I mean, because that's business, and I'm a businessman myself, so I can't backlash myself. It might happen to me, you know what I mean? It might happen to you one day. Right. It actually get like that, but the minorities not supporting one another it was piss poor, you know what I mean? Right. It's a piss poor antic, only because if you think about it, all the mom and pop stores is the ones we can go to. If you five cents short, mom ain't worried about that five cents because she know you, you like more than likely digitally going to come back and forth, you know what right. I mean? And Nike, you better have every penny. Every stinking penny of it. Right, right. Now, do you think Nike really cares about social, social injustices to minorities? Not at all. You, Michael Jordan, the face of it. He's a minority himself. Right, right. So... Do you think that minorities would support a small business the same way they're supporting Nike if they found out that the small business had the same views of Colin, as Colin Kaepernick? I mean, more than likely they would, but I, it's kind of like up in the air just because. You know what I mean? Most people won't help the next person do what they scared to achieve or right. even really perpetuate even doing. You know what I mean? So, so why do you think people are supporting Nike so much, but they won't support a small business if they found out the small business agreed with the same issues they put michael jordan face on it mm. okay now do you think that people buying more nikes and more accessories nike accessories and stuff like that will have any impact on social injustices i mean not really i think hip-hop is doing it my feel actually you know what i mean we're running the world right now we we actually done indulged in the sneaker world do you think that people buying more nike shoes and more nike apparel is gonna have any impact on these social injustices? I honestly don't think personally no, but it, it will. I think it will. Really? Yeah. How so? How so? I mean, the way our world is today, I mean, everybody's, you know, looking, stereotyping, you know, things like that. Yeah. So, it's kind but, of but specifically, 
you think that buying more Nike shoes and apparel is going to help, like, for example, police to stop being stop being like mean to people based on their ethnicity and race and stuff like that? No, just no. I don't think so at all. So you, so you don't think so? Okay. No. There's a lot of different opinions. Some people say they'll buy Nike anyway. Some people say they won't. Some people, uh, but the majority of people are saying that they're not blind to the fact that Nike does not care directly about social injustices, you know? So I have a quick question for you if you're one of those who ran out and bought Nike shoes, which I'm not knocking in support of them supporting Colin Kaepernick. How likely do you think it is that Nike is to build some sort of recreational center or anything that will have an impact in your community? In your community, How likely do you think that it is that Nike is going to do that? Just, I'm just curious. Put your answers in the comment section down below. What's your YouTube page? DJ Biggs Entertainment. DJ Biggs Entertainment, y'all check him out on YouTube. I dance and play basketball. That's what's up, dance and play basketball. Is there mm -hmm. somewhere where people can check you out dancing at? Dollar Boys at D-Boy Shot on Instagram. Okay, or Dollar Boys at Dollar Boys on YouTube okay. on everything. That's what's up. All social medias. What about you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I run, I play basketball. You run track? Yeah. Oh, who you run for? No, I don't run track yet, but I'm getting there. That's what's up, man. I used to run track for Oak High School. Yeah. That's what's up, man. That's dope. What's, what's your best favorite event? Uh, Favorite event? Yeah, like a 100-meter dash, 400-meter dash. What do you want to do, sprinter? Do all that. All that. He wants to do all of it. That's what's up. You said you did music. Uh, what, what exactly do you do? Well, I actually rap, sing, and dance a little bit. Okay. And I got my own clothing line. It's a, it's a lot. Yeah, you know I mean? I do so, a little bit of everything. Where can people check you out at? Uh, you can find me just about everywhere. Um, actually, September 14th, I got two singles releasing on all platforms. That's Google Play, uh, Amazon Music, iTunes, Apple Music, you name it. Um, also, www.daus.me. That's M-E. Awesome, awesome. So, um, so that, is that what you do for a living, or do you have another job also? Well, I work for the United States Postal Service. Good job, good job. I'm a home health aide, and I also work as a cashier at Park America, Inc., down 15th and Walnut. And I also write poetry, write my own books. I also throw my own venues. Check me out. Check you out where? Where can they check you out? Uh, Facebook, via via Facebook, Booskins Poetry Corner is where my poetry is. And all the rest of my sites, I'm working on getting up. Nice. I like that. See, she does a lot. A hard-working woman right here. West Indian man? No, I smoke a lot of tree <laughs> Turn up the Crank it up. While I listen to the rest, we rockin' with the best, baby. Oh,